Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new project that we have alluded to countless times. And now with said computer, well, said computer for me, it is possible for me to play one of my favorite games and most important, Kirby Squeak Squad. I don't know why they reused half of the intro from Amazing Mirror, but that's fine. Both are all right games. Now, man, I miss Flagship. I love the style of Kirby. Now, oop, that is the opening. <laughs> um, now, our experience with this game is that, well, mine at least, was that this was my very first Kirby game, and it got me into the series. I got it along with Superstar Ultra. Kenji played it um we played it once and um i was watching and it was it was it was an enjoyable time got to like world five i believe it's, it's been a long time um but yeah here we are and we hope you guys all enjoy as we play on file two because failed recording in file one <laughs> Early afternoon in dreamland. So peaceful that even the clouds are drowsy. And now it's Kirby's favorite time of the day, snack time. One of my favorite images. Today's yummy snack is a sweet fluffy slice of strawberry short. Time to dig in. Or not. Whoa! The cake Kirby was about to eat has suddenly vanished. That scrumptious, very top slice of mouth-watering goodness. No doubt about it, that this must be the work of that greedy King DDD. Well, there's no time to waste. Gotta get that cake back. And that's how Kirby's latest fantastic adventure begins. Ah. Well, here we are. So, for those that are used to style of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Um, okay, pardon me real quick while I turn the volume down just a little bit for myself. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> it, it is a little loud. Um, okay, that's a little better. Um, but yeah. So basically, those that are used to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror style of controls, you'll see that this game is very sim similar. And I know a lot of people that enjoyed the game's simplicity, so here we are. Now, most of the abilities in this game are very one-note, where, you know, press a button, something happens. In the case of Beam here, where you just shoot your little beam laser. Now I will not be I will not be speedrunning this game because I I'm so good at this game, guys. Now, um, for the sake of you know Kenji's enjoyment of this game, because you know I I like my friend watching me play a game. Um, I'd rather not speedrun this game. We'll get into the concept of speedrunning later, but, um, oh, also, we have a new ability, fire, quote-unquote new, I meant, like, new right now. Um, fire in this game got buffed from Amazing Mirror, where you can use Burning's ability of just dashing like a fireball. It's pretty neat, and I like it. I'm very happy Burning doesn't exist anymore. As do most Kirby games, you have like a little gold game at the end. Shoot out of the cannon. Kenji, what are you doing right now? <laughs> uh, playing Master Duel. Oh. You know what? My you know what? Probably should have guessed that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um. Ma Master Duel, y'all, I'll be real. They, yeah, that's a that's a someday topic. Um, but anyway, so we have a new mechanic, bubbles. With bubbles, you can tap them on the bottom screen. You can have up to five, 
and you get that ability. It's pretty unique, and I find it enjoyable enough. It's like an inventory system. Now, you do not get wild Pokemon from tall grass, no, no, no. Instead, you can burn the tall grass. Nature Kirby is not a thing. And you can also use Sword, which just has quite a bit of variety in its moveset. You can use Sword and also cut. Any kind of cutting ability will do, like, you know, cutter. Now, another mechanic with the bubbles that you can mix and match. This makes it, I'll demonstrate. So we have a piece of meat and cherry, and you know, like cooking normally goes, if you mix it piece of hunk of meat and cherry, then you get a tomato. Do not take my cooking advice. Yeah, so it's got quite a variety of moves in this game compared to most other movesets. Now, treasure is the collectible in this game. Um, it's alright. It takes a piece of your inventory, so be mindful of that. Don't, like, willy-nilly get every bubble in sight, because you might have to get rid of one. Which, if you want to get rid of a bubble, you hold it to Kirby's, like, top of the bottom screen, and then you, you can get it back then. Don't worry. And... Oh, nope. Okay. Um, the timing for that is apparently random. I thought it was based off of performance, but it's not. But we are all right. And now, let's see. So we're on 1 death 3, which is where I believe the main mechanic of this game comes in. Besides treasure chests and the bottom screen and all that. Um, so Kirby actually has a new move he does not have in many other games. The sliding dash? Which, okay, you may be like, yes he has it in other games, let's see slot. No, that is a dash attack. In this, he crouches and then slices. It's a little weird. But, weird as in good. It's different, and we like different. Now, we just got a copy ability, um, bubble again, which this is. Cutter. Remote Cutter. Boomerang. So this is one of the few games where you can actually control where the cutter go. Like, at the point in time, it wasn't normal for Kirby to have that kind of ability with cutter. But yeah, you can control sort of where it goes. Now, it is not, like, a forgotten land. And it doesn't go, like, get items for you. No, no, no. That's not a thing yet. Kirby's got another, like, 16 years? 16. Math was never a strong suit. Um. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wish I can say it was, but. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So we got. We got Mr. Big Guy over here. This guy's name is Mr. Frosty. So, yeah, he's pretty simple. He's like the first mini boss in this game. He's a. He's a much staple. But if we beat him, of course, we eat him. Mm, ice cream. But yes, my favorite copy ability in the Kirby series! Ice. It's very simple in this game, but it does have a wide unique mechanic, which we can demonstrate right here. Well, okay, this is not new. Basically, you can freeze the enemies and then kick them around. But, it has a unique mechanic in this game. Oh, come on. You can freeze the water. Now, I like this a lot. You do have ice physics, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Um, but ice physics and Kirby aren't too strong, so don't worry about that. Um, if you are tired of the ice blocks, you can break them. They have two hits. Um, but... Oh, before I was gonna talk, we have another new ability. And this one's an actual new ability. Animal Kirby. You love dirt, dig. Sweet dirt, dig. Dig, dig, dig. You can't dig everywhere, though. So, I'll be real. When I was a kid, I was pretty stupid. Okay, well, was stupid. Sometimes still am, but... Yeah, yeah, I was waiting for it. <laughs> but, okay, so... Basically, you 
you see this little move down here? The number three, where it says B in diggable spots. I thought this was a ground pound. <laughs> um, so, okay, so let me show you what it actually is. You can just dig straight down. Yep, you get a little Minecraft ability. You get to dig in the dirt, and you can get little power-ups. It's like a little maze game of yours. Um, but like I said, I was stupid, so I thought that, um, that was a ground pound, so I tried doing it in mid-air, because, you know, I played Mario- I played Mario Galaxy before this game. So I tried doing it mid-air, and I'm just like, how the heck do I do this? I, I was not the smart, sharpest- What'd you say? The man thought he was using drill. Yeah. Yeah, I was not the not the sharpest. Whatever the drill thing is from Galaxy. Yeah, I was not the sharpest knife in the drill. Um, but it's all right. We're we're fine now, I think. Here, hold on. Let me just adjust something. Real quick. Let me see. Let me do just your volume so I can hear you a little clearly, a little more clearly. Okay, speak. Hello? Okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry, you weren't. The game was outpacing your, your volume, and I could not have that. Okay. Okay. So here we are. This is the main mechanic of the game. Man, the squeaks. Well, the squeak squad, but they're just called the squeaks, which is a little funny. Now, one thing is you can fight them just hands-on, which is which is helpful if you're low on health or need abilities. Now, if you need abilities, um, these guys can help. Now, this character is known as Spiny. Or Spiny? Now, if you eat her shuriken, yes, it's a her, by the way, if you eat her shuriken, you can get ninja, which is one of the earliest times in any game you can get ninja. Um, fighting him is to somewhat your best interest, it's mainly if you just want the ability. Um, yeah, basically the squeaks will chase you and then try to, um, take your treasure chest from your stomach and then take them back to their lair. It's a little bit of a weird mechanic, but I think it's kind of fun. We got what, well, we got a food item and then we do a little dance. what Kirby game is it without the little dance? Now, let me explain how some of these treasures work. Also, Kirby's stance changes when he's ninja, and that's amazing. Like, he, he looks ready to fight. Okay, so, the collection room. So this is a CD player, which basically is what it sounds like. You get to play the songs and whatever song you want. Now, of course, we don't have all the songs, but that'll change. And now this is one of my favorite abilities, or concepts, in Kirby, and it came back and forgot land, kind of. Scrolls. Ability scrolls. Basically, when you have an ability scroll, your ability gets enhanced. So, well, we have a fire scroll, which is pretty neat, and we'll have to check what that is. When we get fire. Which should be soon, I think? Oh, also, in the background, you can see our destination being DBZ Castle, which is very neat. Which, we are already here, actually. Yep, we are now on the grounds of DBZ's Castle. Oh, also, I forgot to show Ninja. Yeah, it has a really cool kanji, and then... Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ninja, Ninja's pretty, pretty standard in this game. This is one of Ninja's simpler games, but it's not bad, is it? I wouldn't say so. Let's get Spark. Spark in this game is... Well, it's not plasma. <laughs> um, charge. So, Spark in this game is the defensive, you know, everyone knows Spark versus Plasma debate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plasma is just more offensive. In this game, you still have your little barrier, kind of. It's not much of a barrier. In fact, it doesn't protect you at all. Don't say it sucks, though. It sucks for now, but maybe with the ability scroll, it'll be better. Or shadowing. Um, with Spark, you can okay. st still zap. <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, okay. I was just laughing at you. Oh. When don't you laugh at me? Okay. 
exactly. Okay. Um, and with this, we have a chest up here. Also, what's cute is that King Dedede has pictures of his subjects. I think this is the only time in canon he has pictures of Waddle Dee all over his house, but he does. Oh, by the way, there's not much- you don't get, like, a different sword from eating the big guys, but they're just harder to inhale. That's it. That's literally the only difference. Oh, the Invincible Lollipop. You know, it's funny, um, it took 30 years for this song, this Invincibility song, to actually have, like, a full version. Um... Forgotten Land was the first time in Kirby history that, um, it had a full OST. Now, I will show you guys how ability scrolls work. Now, you see in the bottom left corner how there's a little scroll icon? That just means I have the ability scroll. Now, what does fires do? It's nothing too special, but it helps. You can hold B and then up or down, or directionally input your fire. It's nothing too special. I wish you did more damage, or did a superstar and light yourself on fire, but you know what? It works. So this guy, his name is Stora. Yeah, he's nothing special, really. He's actually pretty easy. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you actually need to beat these guys. Like, for this, we actually can't go onward if, unless we- I'll show you. We can't go up until we beat him. Which is a little silly. But, eh, whatever. It keeps the plot on there. Yeah, they're, they're called the Squeaks. They get in our way. That's pretty much all they do. You don't always have to fight them, though. In the last level, we didn't actually need to fight Skinny. So now, we have a key. The key takes you to a secret level, Ooh. And then, um, we also got spray paint and a puzzle piece. Puzzle piece! Hey guys, can you tell what the puzzle is? Um, there's, there's four puzzles, and each one is varying in size. Like, for example, I believe this one's only four pieces? I don't remember. Um, we also got the key, which, you know, unlocks a little secret area, which we will go into next, and then, I wish Kirby Game still did this, spray paints, which we can spray paint him to green Kirby. We can do green Kirby, we'll probably switch off over the course of the game, but green Kirby, yeah, look at him. I don't really like him too much with fire Kirby, but, I mean, right? And, of course, he has pictures of himself. Ninja's here! I, like, am I wrong? I think this is, like... Because you get ninja... The first time you can get ninja is 1-3. So the third level of the game, and then you can get it again in... The fifth level. That's insane to me. Like, it took Superstar? I think the first time you can get it in Superstar was Dynablade. Yeah, Dynablade, um, um, world. But yeah, Ninja is pretty simple in this game, but it, it's still got its moves. It's got the seismic drop, the seismic toss. Um, it has the, the heel kick, it's got the wall climb. Uh, my friend is playing Resident Evil 4. <laughs> um, shout out to Nathan. Um, wow, this game is berating us with abilities, huh? Meet! An ability that should be in more games. Tornado Kirby. Spin, 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 spin. Okay. So, Tornado in this game is simple. I mean, it's only really not simple in Forgotten Land. But basically, yep, you just move forward, wreak havoc, everything in your way. It's like an actual tornado. Tornado Kirby. Huh. It kind of does have a ring to it. But yeah, Tornado in this game is very much so unchanged, and- Okay, I'm sorry. 
but I'm not getting that ability yet because we're just getting berated with them and it's probably annoying. Um, fine, we'll, we'll get it because, oh, or not, he disappeared. Oops. Yeah, that's how high jump works, you idiot. Sorry, hi yeah, I know, I know. Um, okay, there we go. We got another chest. So, these little Kirbys, no, they don't allow, no, they don't split you into ten little Kirbys and play a mass attack, but no. Instead, what they do, you, you have to get three of them, and then something kind of special happens. You'll see. Uh, once again, I will be 100%ing this game, because this game is a special place in my heart, and I feel like it needs that, um, sort of love back. Now we have Parasol Kirby. Yep. The sun shines on this parasol of mine, where I walk, enemies balk, and I float gently down. Balk? Uh-huh. Oh, shout out to me, um, as a kid, because, um, when I got this game, this was before I had glasses, I thought this said bark. So, where I walk, enemies bark, and I'm like, wild these bark? No, they don't. I hate this uh, <laughs> Um, I was blind. <laughs> was anyways um parasol works out does in most games when you're floating you you know you just move side to side um it's the defensive ability of the bunch it's you like it but i know a lot of people don't for some reason but like how can you not it's so cute he's just holding the little umbrella And, yep, here it is. We're gonna get that ability later, because I'd rather fight Doc. So, Doc is one squeak that is mainly range attack. He, he likes to fly around and shoot at you, and make his minions do all the work. Come on, I want her. Oh no, I lost Parasol. Oh, okay. There we go. Whew, okay. Um, but yeah, like I shown right there, you don't need to fight them. And in most cases, don't. It's just annoying. Like, I don't know, there's just really... Yeah, exactly. But, uh, we got a heart piece. Okay, Kirby. Um, heart piece, or vitality as they call it. You get an extra life if you get two. Now, this is worded terribly, because, you know, when you hear extra life, you probably think one-ups? No, these are heart extensions. Which is infinitely better than just another one-up. And then we got... What did we get? I forgot what we got. Oh, man. I may be stupid. Oh, no. What did we get? Yeah. I didn't see... We got a puzzle piece, yeah? Okay, we got a puzzle piece. I swear, guys, I, I know this game. <laughs> so, this one, I believe, has six pieces? But, yeah, it's... Gee, guys, I wonder who's in this artwork. Um, But, yeah. So, we're gonna go to the next level. I think one world episode sounds about right. Um, for those who wanting to play this game, maybe alongside me, um... This game is one of the shorter Kirby games, so it is fitting for anyone to play, and it's a good beginning game. Now, if we get to combine one, Kir one little Kirby to another, you get two little Kirbys. And if you combine one to two Kirbys, you get... Oh, no! And then you just... I don't know what happens to the Kirbys, but, um... Let's not ask. Get absorbed, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if one of in the Mario verse are canonically like other Mario's, maybe that's the same for Kirby. So this this up here is a chest. This took me forever to get as a kid. Um, but yeah, that's the level. Meet one of the shortest levels in Kirby in the Kirby history. I don't know why that was a thing. Um. Yep, one chest, about five seconds of a level. Now, this is a copy palette. Uh, copy palette, yes, okay, I was right. Um, basically, it changes the bottom screen's look. 
that that's it. It doesn't increase your inventory, it just changes the bottom screen's look. So, our, our default was stars and little, little bubbles, you know, it's kind of cute. This one, squares, a little brighter, and circles. Um, I'll do the brighter one. Also, this game's music's nice, I will be gushing about it. I think we all feared for the moment that I was gonna play a Kirby game on this channel, so I apologize in advance. Because autism be damned. That squeak. The or, squeak that's, be squatting. That squeak be squatting. Squatting, not squatting. That's gross. Okay. So, when this music plays, Boss is near. As you can tell by the giant picture of him. Okay, so this bothered me. Even as a kid, this bothered me. The door is not in the center. No joke. This is the center that I'm in right now. The door is not in the center. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now, that question mark copy the ability palette that we got. You get a random ability. Are you kidding me? Well, it's time to show off Laser Kirby in the weirdest of ways. Yep, DDD's our first fight. Now, Laser in this game, it's not the best. At least for boss fights. You shoot one little ginky laser, and then not much else. Whoop. Also, this rendition of DDD's theme is great, just like every other version of his song. What? Yeah, I'm going easy on him, but yeah, this is the problem with laser. It's just not that strong. It has its uses later, because this is, like, this is not a good time to get it. But, believe me, it has its uses. So, yeah. Um, I want to throw this out there. This castle rendition is actually the rendition in the anime. In Kirby Right Back At ya, or um, Kirby of the Stars in Japanese, this machine of his is how he summons his monsters in the show. It's kind of unique, and I like it. And, after you beat a boss, you get the same treasure every time. Think? No. You get the boss battle. Boss battle badge. What's this? Someone stolen King Dedede's treasure chest? Of course. He doesn't know a thing about the Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah, we, we destroyed higher monarchy just to get our cake. So what's going on? Who's really behind the disappearing shortcake? The squeaks are squatting! Suddenly a whirlwind appears, bringing a band of big-eared strangers. Who are these guys? A band of thieves known as the Squeaks. With treasure chests in tow, they begin to march jauntily away. King GDD acts as quick as a wind. He grabs Kirby and hurls him at the Squeaks. What a shot! He throws a perfect strike! Next time... Um, I say next time guys will play because this like transitions into the next level. So, um, Kenji, we're gonna say our goodbyes on this episode, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little weird. So, farewell everyone, hope you enjoyed this.